Hokturi girl has done the unthinkable and she's extended her five minutes of fame again. She doesn't stop, mate. This girl seems to have an ability to keep extending her five minutes of fame. And now she's extended it once more by the launch of this new podcast she has coming out called, I think it's Hok Talk, is it Talk To Her, whatever the name is. It's a really clever name. I'm not going to lie. Whoever came up with a name deserves a fucking award. But this is Hok To Her Girl announcing her podcast, which is going to be coming out very soon. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> I'm Hayley Welch. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. And along the way, I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. Check out my podcast every week, Talk To Them, where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. I'm sorry, but that's a very good name, man. That's an incredible name. Talk To Her is such a good name for a podcast talk to her is such a good name with Haley Walsh so big up her for being able to do that and I'm wondering though off the back of this right is this just a is this just a consequence of her being a stereotypical cute blonde girl a cute white blonde girl or is this more the consequence of her just not being dumb because this might be one of the greatest extenders of five minutes of fame i've ever seen outside of obviously like bobby out of i think that wasn't really five minutes of fame she was already doing what she was doing but i wonder why this girl's been able to take such an innocuous man on the road interview type clip that went viral and extend it this far i wonder it's because she does look maybe like the girl next door maybe it's because she's pretty maybe because she's actually smart and most of the people that do make it and do blow up overnight are kind of stupid and have dumb people around them who are maybe only looking for the quick, short-term money. And maybe her people, her family, herself, were maybe thinking long-term. Because weirdly enough, if, she's, if she plays her cards right, because I feel like with this, I feel like with most people, with most people, right, they get to, they get to enjoy this sort of like, five minutes of fame for five minutes for themselves like you get to enjoy the fruits of it hey you did well boom here's some fruits of what you know what i mean like you get to enjoy a little bit of it you get to buy yourself a house you get yourself a little g-wagon whatever your life is set a tesla and you're happy but this one is interesting because i feel like she has the potential to maybe support her entire family from this she might be able to build a legit media company. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the scary thing about this girl. Like, she's able to not even just... Cause I feel like a lot of people, again, they get the five minutes of fame. They benefit from it a lot, which is great. It changes their life, but rarely does it actually impact other people. It's not really that kind of fame. It's not really that kind of money. It's not really that kind of wealth. It just only uh, is applicable to them because, you know, there's only so much money to go around. But I feel like she's able to actually build from a point where she could potentially employ people, you know, pay for people's thing, be an actual, like, job creator, <laughs> wealth creator, all because of one innocuous fucking interview. And it's fucking amazing. I lend... If you had to ask me what I think, I would go towards the side of... I just think she's smarter than the regular person that does get this type of viral fame. I think the regular person that does get this type of fame probably isn't suited to it and probably does only see the short-term, you know, benefits, and doesn't maybe think long-term, and obviously they pay the price for, you know, let it down the line when the money dries up. But I think because she's smarter than the average person that does get this type of fame, she's been able to kind of exploit it and stretch it out for far longer than probably she has any right to. You know what I mean? Probably that's the reason why. But let's also be fair. Let's also be fair. And I think someone else pointed it out here. Um, I see some of you guys pointed it out in the stream chat um Sarlux has pointed it out chris Macca said same sort of thing carlo g said same sort of thing andre said same sort of thing let's also be fair i speak a lot on this particular no i speak a lot on youtube and i yap a lot especially on a random show about low cows and low cows are usually people that i despise and most people despise also and they're very unlikable people and a lot of us myself included you kind of rooting for their failure because a lot of these people take their you know take their fucking careers for granted you think of the dsps the boogies the wings they're very entitled they're very narcissistic they kind of treat their fans like shit they're just awful people 
So you root against them, and they're very and and the thing that you always think when you think when you sit there and you think of like how are these guys making so much money, you feel yourself like how are you so unlikable but yet so successful? So it's nice to see on the other side of things, you can be very likable like this Haley girl is, and also win because it feels like sometimes in the world, especially with the success of locales, even look at the podcast locale live being a good example, it feels like sometimes the worst people always win, which is probably true, right? In the the truest sense of the word is that. This is, which is why, you know, it's a weird segue, which is why I always kind of loved um, Ozark. I loved Ozark on Netflix because of that. Because Ozark on Netflix, that main family, they're fucking pieces of shit. Like, and they all deserve to die, especially the kids. Like, none of them die. There's always other people who kind of have to pay the price for their crappy decisions, right? And for their horrible choices and whatever else it may be. Or their greed. Or their, you know, um, emotions, whatever it may be. But the reality of it is, I think one of the characters said in the series, the reality is sometimes in the real world, bad people get away with things a lot, consistently, and, <clears throat> and they sleep well at night. So it's good to see on the other side of the things, on the flip side, that someone like this girl is successful and has made it because she's nice. She comes across nice, you know? Like, really, she comes across nice. And that's it. Nothing else needed, just comes across very nice, which is really interesting too, considering what she got viral for was kind of hoary and shit, but I felt like, yeah, that's the weird thing as well with hate with this Hulk Tour girl. Don't you feel as if she kind of came into the scene in with this like hoary image of being the girl that spits on dicks and shit and giving you advice on how to fucking jack off guys? But ever since then, she doesn't really exude sex or like lust or like horniness. You know, don't you, I feel that's a? But I wonder if that's a clever positioning thing. Do they cleverly pivot her away because? She could have easily become that person, giving like advice on like, you know, how to finish a guy off. Well, you know, would you fucking split a fucking date thing? Like, it's been so interesting how she's been able to pivot. Okay, I'm, sp- I'm, I'm talking about spitting on that thing. And now I'm just like a funny guest on the podcast from like this place down south. And I've got this cute, funny accent. Like, no one really talks about sex with her. I don't feel like it's really fucking cool. Like, I really fucking am like, you gotta give props for that. So, continuing on, this is the article, Culture Hollywood Reporter. Uh, big up quote in the stream chat. I really don't mind her, like, more than her, more than most comedians. Plus, she's been dodging a lot of thirsty celebs. Like, yo, Coyle is always, Coyle is always, Coyle is always in my fucking mind. Always in my brain. Fucking great mind thinker, like, sir. I'm glad you said that. I forgot to mention, I'm glad you said that. That has legitimately been one of the things I've kind of liked about her, I'm not going to lie. On one side, you got Bobby out of. Again, no, no, no problem with her whatsoever. But she seems, <coughs> she seems like the kind of person, you know, if you flutter her eyelids at her, she's going to give you a, a bit of time. I like on the other side of things, the Hawk Tua girl seems to be very like, you know, she seems to like take a bit of pleasure in like turning guys down, especially the ones that think they could get her. Do you know what I mean? I can't like that about her. It's kind of endearing. How like, nigga, what? No. You know what I mean? Why am I going to come to your show? You'll invite me back to stage to do what? Hang out. To do algebra. Like, who do you think? Like, I kind of like, like, it makes her way more likable. I'm not going to lie. Richard Tony niggas down is fucking incredible. Big up hook to her, man. That's such a great point. But RIP to Young Gravy, by the way, man. Being exposed like that is fucking awful. Young Gravy out here is like, bruh. Like, Young Gravy. Young, like, she, you know, like, Hook 2 is like, I know I'm like a, Hook 2 her in her head is like, I know I'm like a Z-list celebrity, but I'm, I, even I'm not going to fuck you. That is, that's a brutal, isn't it? If you're Young Gravy, I think, to be fair, Young Gravy probably should think he's a bit higher than Hock Tua in, in the hierarchy of celebrity tiers. But Hock Tua looks at him and thinks he's a loser. <laughs> Imagine how that must feel, being rejected by a girl that you think you're better than. Oh, God almighty. Women... Women know how to fucking bring a man down to, to planet Earth. Um, hock to a girl, Haley Welch, to launch a podcast talk, ho- talk to her, sorry, from Jake Paul's media company. Big up the Hollywood Reporter. And also, big up Jake Paul, man. He's got his, you know, he's very business savvy. Again, bit of a cunt, but very business savvy. I heard what he said about the UFC fighters recently. I think it was during a podcast with Francis Ngano. And he spoke so eloquently, so well, especially about Conor McGregor and why he's not currently fighting essentially um i'm not sure if it's true though but what jake paul said made a lot of sense he was saying that how the reason why conor mcgregor hasn't fought yet is because the ufc is trying to get more money i guess their deals run out and they're looking for more investment and as they're seeking more investment 
they've obviously used Connor as part of the investment deck and the card. So basically, when you're going to raise investment and you're pitching these companies to invest more money in you, you're saying, hey, we've got Conor McGregor on our book. We've got him for a couple of fights that we plan to do here and here and here. They're going to generate this amount. And then obviously the investment people are more likely to invest because they know they're going to get some of their money back because you've got Conor. So that's why they're sort of like on purpose delaying these fights. It's not really him. It's more so the UFC trying to long it out as much as possible to get much money from him. Which I was thinking, whoa. Again, not sure if that's true, but it sounded like it made a lot of sense. So big up Jake Paul for that sort of insight. So, Cozy Hollywood Reporter, some more info here. After making a splash on social media, Hawk to a girl, Haley Welch, is continuing to shut down the haters as she lands a new gig. Welch is the host of the podcast Talk To Her as part of the Better Banner and the first episode debuting on September 10th on social, digital and audio platforms. The weekly podcast will see Welch showcasing a comedic style and southern charm through a blend of interviews, lively discussions and humorous moments. The first episode featured guest Whitney Cummings, while later visits um, um, include Josh Richards and Jake Paul, Welch will contribute to better media social um, content. Yeah, um, allegedly the episode of her and Whitney was really good. I haven't watched it just yet. But um, I wonder what she sees in Whitney. I wonder why she's become so close to Whitney. Interesting person, but it's good. At least she's, at least she's got like a, a female mentor, you know, in the scene that can kind of almost guide her. I think that's more important. Some of the guys, you know, they're, they're only going to want to get their dicks wet. So it's good she's got like a woman to kind of guide her through some way, shape or form in the industry. So it continues. Um, Better is a sports media mobile company founded by Jake Paul and um, Joey Levy in 2002. The company's programming includes BS with Jake Paul, Twin Talk with Hannah and Haley Cavender, Nicholas and Dimes with Bo Nickel and Caps Off with co-host Adam Tabernick and Jack Parody. So that's her there. Um, this is a major addition to the Better Media family as we continue to strategically differentiate ourselves from the market, says Better Head of Media Mike Denevi. In a statement, Haley Welch is a bona fide superstar and her charisma and unique perspective <coughs> and unique connection with her audience make her the perfect fit for our platform. Talk to her will bring a fresh and dynamic voice to our content lineup and we can't wait for our audience and brand sponsors to connect with Haley in an authentic way that embodies the ethos of Better Media as a whole. Yo, do you know how furious, do you know how furious Joe Biden will be if Haley Welch manages to get a million dollar deal for talk to her in about five years time or something could you imagine how angry he'll be <laughs> if he finds out that fucking i don't know sirius xm spotify apple some other media company signed talk to her to a deal of like worth millions could you imagine how angry joe Biden will be it'll be so hilarious um welch kept welch added y'all kept asking what's next well this is it I'm so thankful for my own podcast while I discovered the real Haley Welch. I'm glad to join the Better Media team who fully gets me. Together, we're going to introduce the world to talk to her every Tuesday starting September 10th. My show will have a little of everything. Great guests, laughs, chit-chats with our pets, relationship points, um, sports, and of course, some down-home southern charm. A trailer for the project showcases footage of um, Welch recording a podcast, riding on a jet ski. She says the video, y'all really thought I was done. I'm just getting started, baby. Watch became um, ubiquitous on social media after her street interview with Tim and DTV that went viral. By the way, do you think Tim and DTV get a bit of get a bit of kickback over the, all these deals because they basically launched her, or did they just get whatever they got in her video? I wonder. Um, since then, the twenty one, she's twenty one. Shit, god damn it, she's killing it, bro. She's fucking killing it. Since then, the twenty one year old from uh, Belfast, Tennessee, has appeared on stage with Zach Bryan. Amassed more than 2 million Instagram followers and launched her charitable fund, Paws Across America. She's even got a charity. Like, come on, bro, man. Look, I don't throw this out here too much, but this girl might be perfect. She might be a perfect media figure. She's even got a charity. <laughs> she's even got a charitable organization. Yo, she just does things correctly. She might be fucking perfect. She signed with a management company, The Penthouse. Um, the founders of Joni Foster's recently chatted with The Hollywood Reporter about his team's vision for Welch's path. During the conversation, Foster revealed that he had turned down um, numerous opportunities for her, including a spot on American Idol roles in several movies, and that she was more focused on potential podcast rally TV show. Yo, again, she has smart people around her, innit? Because that is a horrible choice. She should never go on American Idol. What, as one of the judges? Come on, man. That is very short-lived. If anything... That would make her look bad instantly. People would be like, oh, why is she on there? She doesn't have any talent. She just went, she just did this dumb interview and it went viral. 
it would actually hurt her brand. So her team turning down American Idol, even though I'm imagining the money was crazy, because imagine like most TV deals, you get paid per episode and shit, and you can imagine, you know, the pay for American Idol is pretty, you know, hefty, especially if you sign on for a few seasons and shit. So I'm glad they turned it down. And to be fair, once she once she gets her 1,000 true fans, she's set. You know, that's all you need, really. Like you could you could have a really good six figure plus career with 1,000 true fans. You don't need to have crazy amounts. So now that she's kind of got some of them, now you need to convert them into podcast listeners, get those ads up, and she's gonna be killing it. People just want to talk with her and get to know her more. Says Foster. Um, there are a couple of different ideas we'll be sitting down with a couple of the showrunners that have already had calls with us and fleshed that out but yeah big up her man but again it's it's unfortunate because i said in the uk this can't this can never happen this is what should have happened in the uk to that girl that girl that fucked the prison inmate the one i keep talking about in here who i feel sorry for if she lived in america bro she'd be so rich but in the uk she's been shamed she's been chastised she's basically had to convert to christianity to kind of save her public image I don't, I'm not even sure if she's still on social media, but like this woman was like, you know, she's clearly a bit of a freak. If she was in America, that lady that fucked that guy in one's of prison, she would be a millionaire by now, legit millionaire. But in the UK, we're we're like we're prudent, we're we're fucking puritans. Do you know what I mean? Like we don't really like to, you know, indulge in this sort of shit. So this hot tour girl could only become a multi-millionaire in America, legitimately. She's making more money than a lot of big media figures, you know, would be making here in the UK. So. Um, big up Hawk to a girl. Love to see it. What a fucking G. Absolutely love to see it. Great to hear that she's, you know, fucking killing it out here. And the name, I'm sorry, but the name is absolutely genius. Talk to her. Honestly, whoever came up with that in her team, you deserve a raise. Whoever came up with her that in her team, whoever came up with talk to her, you, my friend, deserve a raise. Talk to her. Wow, 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 wow. I can't even get into fucking thing. But yeah, big up the person that came up with Talk To Her. You fucking killed it. You actually, 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 actually did kill it. Talk To Her, you know. Talk To Her. Imagine that. Talk To Her. Wow. So yeah, um, big up, big up, big up, Hayley Welch. Continuing on. Continuing on. Continuing on.